Welcome to an example on how to solve a linear equation in one variable with fractions. It's important to remember when solving equations, when we go through the solution process, each step we are equating an equivalent equation because we always perform the same operation to both sides of the equation. Looking at the notes below, notice how the first step is optional, and that is to multiply both sides of the equation to clear any fractions or decimals from the equation. So we will actually solve this equation two ways. We will first go through and clear the fractions and then solve the equivalent equation. And then we'll come back and solve the equation leaving the fractions in the equation. In order to clear the fractions from this equation, we need to begin by determining the least common denominator, which is the least common multiple of three, five, and two. The LCD is 30, which means to clear the fractions from the equation, we begin by multiplying both sides of the equation by 30, where we multiply each term by 30. This will give us 30 times 2 thirds plus 30 times 4 fifths x equals 30 times 3 halves. And now let's go through and find each product. And because each product involves a fraction, let's write 30 as 30 over 1. Before multiplying, we simplify. Notice 3 and 30 share a common factor of 3. There's 1, 3, and 3, and 10, 3's, and 30. Notice now the product is just 10 times 2, which is 20. Plus, here simplifying before multiplying, there's 1, 5, and 5, and 6, 5's, and 30. Now the product is just 6 times 4x, which is 24x. The left side is now just 20 plus 24x. Equals on the right side. Again, simplifying before multiplying, there's 1, 2, and 2, and 15, 2's, and 30. We now have 15 times 3, which is 45. The equation 20 plus 24x equals 45 is equivalent to the given equation it's just now we no longer have fractions in the equation. Now looking back at our notes, we now simplify each side of the equation by clearing parentheses and combining like terms. But for this equation, neither side of the equation simplifies, so we move to the next step, which is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation. Well, right now the variable term is on the left side of the equation, so we need to isolate 24x on the left side. We need to undo this positive 20 by adding or subtracting, and therefore the next step is subtract 20 on both sides of the equation. And now we simplify. 20 minus 20 is equal to zero. The left side simplifies to 24x. We have 24x equals, on the right side, 45 minus 20 is equal to 25. The equation 24x equals 25 is equivalent to the original equation, but now the equation no longer has fractions and the variable term is isolated. The next step is to multiply or divide to isolate the variable, which gives us the solution. Because 24x means 24 times x, the next step is to divide both sides of the equation by 24 to undo the multiplication and isolate x. And now we simplify. 24 divided by 24 simplifies to 1. 1 times x is x. We have x equals 25 24 fourths. So let's record the solution here on the right side. But now let's go back and solve the equation again, leaving the fractions in the equation. So we will skip the optional step. We can also skip step one because neither side of the equation simplifies. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation. Well now the variable term is 4 fifths x. To isolate 4 fifths x, we need to undo positive two-thirds, and we do this by subtracting two-thirds. Now the first step is to subtract two-thirds on both sides of the equation. Now we simplify. Two-thirds minus two-thirds is zero. That's why we subtracted two-thirds on both sides. The left side simplifies to four-fifths x. Equals on the right side we have three-halves minus two-thirds. Let's work that out here below. 3 halves minus 2 thirds. We need to obtain a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator, which in this case is 6. We need to write 3 halves and 2 thirds 
as equivalent fractions with the denominator of six. We multiply the numerator and denominator of three halves by three. We multiply the numerator and denominator of two thirds by two. Notice now both denominators are six. So we can now find the difference. The common denominator is six and the numerator is nine minus four. Nine minus four is five. The difference is five sixths. So now the right side of the equation is five sixths. And now we have the variable term isolated. The last step is the multiplier divide to isolate the variable, which gives us the solution. So looking at the equation, we have four fifths times x. We need to undo this multiplication so we're probably thinking we should divide both sides of the equation by four fifths, which is correct. But remember, normally when dividing by a fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal instead, which is equivalent. Because the reciprocal of four fifths is five fourths, for the next step, we will multiply both sides of the equation by five fourths. Notice how I am changing the order of multiplication here using the commutative property of multiplication. Now simplifying, we know that five fourths times four fifths is equal to one because they're reciprocals. Or if we simplify, there's one five and five here and here, one four and four here and here, giving us one times x, which is x. We have x equals on the right side, nothing simplifies. We multiply the numerators and denominators, which gives us 25 twenty fourths. So of course, using either method, we get the same solution of 25 twenty fourths. Before we go though, let's check our solution by making sure the solution satisfies the equation. To do this, we substitute 25 twenty fourths for x to verify the left side of the equation is equal to the right side. Performing the substitution, we have 2 thirds plus 4 fifths times 25 twenty fourths equals 3 halves. To save some time, Let's evaluate the left side of the equation on the calculator. So we have two thirds plus four fifths times 25 twenty fourths. Enter, which gives us 1.5, which is equal to three halves. We can also convert this to a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter. So when x equals 25 twenty fourths, the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation are both equal to three halves, which is true, verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.